Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your What's Coming Towards You reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So for this reading, please remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. And remember that the cards represent energies that any gender can embody, okay? So let's get started. Let's see what's coming towards you. Mature woman. All righty. All righty, all righty. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. What is coming towards you? Strength. Tell us more about this message. Oop. The star card. Tell us more about this message. What is this? Eight of Swords in the reverse, which is good. And I'm going to clarify that star card, by the way, because it came out, looked sort of in the reverse, but not completely. So tell us more about this message. What is coming towards you? Tell us more about the message. You're about to be unstuck, is what I'm hearing with the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords in the reverse is very good. All right, let's get about three more. Three of Cups. What is coming towards you? What is coming towards you, Chariot? What is coming towards you? Tell us more about this message here. Tell us more about this message. Tell us more about this message. Tell us more about this message here. The Emperor. Okay. Hmm. Mature woman. So someone who you seek support from. The mature woman always reminds me of the Empress in the other deck. Um, could be a mother, mother figure, typically a very supportive individual, a confidant sort of person, adjudication. Tell us more about this mature woman here. Great fortune and thief. Okay, be careful. Someone may be trying to take your fortune or a blessing or an offer, an opportunity that will bring you great fortune, someone may be trying to take it, okay? What should we know about this mature woman? Thoughts, hmm. What should we know about this mature woman? Mature man, hmm. someone so thoughts you have the questionnaire who's making an inquiry about their person of interest okay so there could be a mature man who's interested in the mature woman okay or this mature woman is making an inquiry about the mature man I need to still bear with me you guys let me get this straight what, what can we know about the mature woman? Okay, what can we know about this mature woman? There we go. Toil and labor, she works very hard. Long hours. Tell us more. Okay, bad health. And then child. Hmm. Tell us about this mature woman. I feel like this is one of the this is one of the storylines that are like <laughs> solving a mystery. I can already tell. It's one of those readings. Knight of Cups. Tell us about this mature woman. Of 
for uh, three of wands. Tell us about this for sure, woman. woman ah uh, empress in the reverse did y'all see that Oop. six of cups empress in the reverse queen of swords queen of pentacles ah you may want to be careful with this one okay you may want to be careful with this one. She's showing up. There's a mature woman here. Could be a mother, mother figure, um, or an older woman. But she's the queen of swords here. Okay? The queen of swords as clever and brilliant and, you know, communicative as they can be. Sometimes they can be they can really play that role of the antagonist, okay? Uh, can even be a bit skeptical um, and bitter at times, okay? You're showing up as the queen of pentacles. You're the one with the great fortune. So clearly you have some, you have success in your life and you may even have abundance in your life, okay? Um, more than enough. Um, this person's coming to you, the Knight of Cups, they're going to extend some sort of welcome, invite, some sort of gesture they will be making. The Three of Wands waiting for their ships to sail in, waiting for an opportunity here. I feel like this person has been sort of scouting you. They've been waiting for the right time to come forward to present themselves to you. Now, they showed up as the empress in the reverse, okay? Maybe right now they're a bit unstable and that's why, but the empress in the reverse is not a kind, caring, or nurturing person whatsoever. They're like the opposite of uh, a mother or mother figure. Um, but of course, um, tower. Empress in reverse. Tell us about this mature woman. I need to know more here. Oops. Tell us about this mature woman. Everything is fine. The hangman. I think when this person comes forward, you should, ask, you should ask all the questions that you need to ask. Mm -hmm. The power font. Yeah, you should. You have the power. You have the upper hand. Um, the power font, a very powerful, influential person, right? Yeah, there's a conversation. Another page is out here. There's a conversation that they're gonna have with you. Um, so let's just get started on the main, uh, the main cards. The Strength, the Star, the Eight of Swords in the Reverse, Three of Cups, the Chariot, and the Emperor. First of all, I feel like this person's coming to you on the behalf of someone. They're coming to you on the behalf of an Emperor who I feel could actually be this mature woman. I mean, this mature man. They're working together. Mature man, mature woman, they're working together. I just heard that specifically. She is working, she's coming towards you on the behalf of an emperor. Mm. Yeah, I did feel there was something a little bit odd. Um, tell us more about this strength, the star. But I feel like 
you can handle this. Strength in the star. Strength in the star. The nine of swords. This is something that you manifested. You manifested something here that's bringing you great fortune. Um, but I would be careful because I do feel like you're going to get your wish fulfillment. But I feel like there's there may be someone here who, yeah, you need to stand your ground. It's yours. Your wish, the star card is wish fulfillment. It's hope, it's faith. Um, but stand your ground because it looks like there are, there's someone here who wants it. Okay, so the strength card is all about being strong, being brave, and being courageous. Because I strongly feel like something is yours, but the enemy wants it. Okay, something is yours. The Eight of Swords is in the reverse. Maybe you've been in, in your period of waiting, this period of like having to wait for news or having to wait for something to be cleared or something to be processed, something like that. Your waiting period is over. Your waiting period is over and you're about to receive this great fortune, which is why now the enemy's like, crap, we couldn't stop it. You know, we couldn't stop them from receiving it. Let's see if we can go and manipulate them to lose it because it's in your hand. The pentacle's in your hand. The enemy can't take it. You're the one who has to willingly let it go. But it looks like this person wants to see if they can manipulate you into letting it go. I'm even hearing, be careful with what you sign. Okay, if there's anyone who's wanting you to sign something, sign documents, I don't know if this is like something, because judication is here. I would definitely get a legal representative, okay? Um, attorney, contract reviewer, those sorts of professionals to help you with this. Mm -hmm. um, I would not sign anything without a legal representative. I'm just saying, because for some reason that dropped in on me and I heard it. Um, your waiting period is over. Something has been cleared. And very soon, you're about to receive this great fortune. So now, the enemy, the, the visual, I just saw something, right? So what's been happening this whole time? The enemy has been at a distance trying to delay this uh, opportunity, okay, from coming towards you. It didn't work. So now they're coming directly to you to try to get you to slip up and lose what you have, okay? Um, so it looks like they couldn't stop the opportunity from reaching you. It reached you, you're just, you're about to hear about it. So now the enemy is trying to come over to you directly to see if they can, you know, mess you up in some way. Let's look at the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, Ace of Wands, your passionate new beginning. The pathway has been cleared. Your season of waiting, okay? And clearly you waited faithfully with the star card here. You had a lot of hope. Your season of waiting is over, okay? Because for many of you, you really you really couldn't do much until you heard this news, right? Um, so now they're coming directly to you. Hmm. Three of cups. There's a third party that's sent, that's being sent to you, but it's on the behalf of an emperor. Clarify the three of cups. Yep. They're trying to confuse you. They're trying to confuse you. And they're sending a woman to you because, you know, naturally women are known to be uh, nurturers, right? Kind, caring, you know, you're confidant, supportive. 
Many of us are still like that, okay? <laughs> but many women are truly nurturers, but you have a few that are kind of, you know? So um, this emperor here is actually the main antagonist, but he's trying to be strategic. He wants to stay behind the scenes. Uh, he doesn't want you to know. Um, as a matter of fact, for some of you, please take what resonates, leave what does not, because I'm picking up on a lot of different information. Uh, for some of you, this mature woman could be his lawyer or his legal representative. Mm -hmm. Judication is here. Someone's fighting you for something. Someone's like, what is the word? What's the legal word for this? Um, someone wants what is legally yours, okay? And with judication, this is when you have to bring in, judication is like you having to bring in a third party. I, go, I always call it the mediator, whether it's a counselor, advisor, judge, attorney, an elder, right? You have to bring in a mediator to sort this out between the two of you. Something is for you. Legally, something is yours. But there is a mature man here, an emperor here, who believes that it should be theirs. Okay? And so it could even be something where they want to sue you. Okay? Um, but how can you sue someone for something that is theirs? <laughs> okay? Um, I feel like what's been happening, and this is going to come to light very soon, if you don't know what it is, because you, you can't, um, please ignore the background noise. I'll talk louder. You can't sue someone without their knowledge, right? Um, they will get notified. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They'll get notified. That's the only way they know that they've been summoned to court. So this person has been secretly, uh, fighting something uh, that you have. They, 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 they believe it, that it's theirs. I wonder if it's siblings fighting over inheritance or property or funds or something. I wonder what this could be about. Um, but they've been trying to take it from you, okay, from behind the scenes. They can't. Your permission is needed. <laughs> <laughs> your consent is needed, especially if this is something that's legally yours, something that has your name written all over it. They can't take it from you. So I feel like they've consulted. They've consulted with a with a a, a, a legal uh, representative here. Who is this mature woman? Who is this mature woman? Because when we clarified it. Adjudication came out. Change. Who is this mature woman? Oops. Lovers. Oops. Occupation. Yeah. This she's working for him. She's oh, oh my goodness. You know what I just heard? This is no, 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 no. She's, like I said, occupation. She's on duty. She's working for him. Okay? She's working for him. Her job is to switch y'all out. Like, if something is yours, her job is to remove your name and put his name on it. Like, she's trying to do a swap. Something is yours, like the lovers, it doesn't have to be romantic, but the lovers is a close bond that you have with someone, okay? So it could be that a person has chosen you for something, right? A partnership between you and someone, a very, very close bond. But some, like, she wants to replace, she wants you replaced with this emperor, like, she wants it to be like, let's say these are siblings. This is just an example. Let's say these are siblings fighting over inheritance and your name is on it, right? Maybe it's something that a relative left you, but she's like, let's see if, if she can remove you and put him on it. 
it's swapping change and lovers it's she's trying to swap something here um and 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 put him in your place instead whoa i saw that i saw it very very clearly okay no 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 i knew it And there's ways that you can verify things. Like if you have someone coming to see you or talk to you over the phone and they say that, you know, they are a lawyer or how do you call those people? An executor or something like that. You, you can ask them for verification. Like legitimate, you can ask them. Okay. I don't know if there's any lawyers or attorneys that are watching this, but is there like a certificate that you can ask people to see, <laughs> you know, like a badge number <laughs> or something like that to know that they are legit and they are assigned to the, the case? Is there a way to see it? Maybe somebody can comment it in the section, in the comment section. Um, we're not out here giving legal advice now. We're not. Okay. Don't do that. But um, is there a way to verify in situations like this? Okay, because how do you know that she's the executor or she's just an attorney for another person, you know? Um, but I'm sure there's a way to verify these things, okay? Because that's what she's trying to do. So right there, what does that mean, okay? What the Holy Spirit is telling me, this is like, it's like the Holy Spirit is telling me to Okay, hold on, because I don't like how, hold on, you guys, one second, because this is, this is serious. Okay. <clears throat> I want it to be quiet, quiet, so you can hear this, okay? All right. What I heard just now. You don't have to compete for something that's already yours. You don't have to fight for something um, that is already yours, okay? Um, but no one can take this away from you unless you willingly hand it over, clearly. Even your, your, your opponents, even they know that, okay? I feel like there's a situation here where uh, if you had to wait a long time or if you had to wait for some time, okay, a delay is not a deny. If you had to wait for some time, it's because these people were trying to, what is the word for it? Like, is it contest against you? That's, that, that's what caused the, the holdup. OK, that's what called the that's what caused the holdup, but it didn't work. This is some sort of uh, legal case here that I'm looking into. OK. Um, and. Uh, they can take like at the end of the day, right, when you're in court, um, they had the right to voice their concerns and so and so and so and so, but they didn't win. OK, they didn't win. It doesn't work that way. I feel like all that all that they were really doing was trying to come up with things to stall time, to cause delays and stall time. But during that period of delay, I feel like God was revealing things to you and preparing you for this situation when it does come towards you. I'm trying to see what is the word um, because I really want you to understand what I'm seeing here. Yeah, it's almost like a dispute or they were trying to challenge. It was, a, yeah, it's contest. They were, uh, they were trying to contest against you. It didn't work. It just so that you wouldn't get this great fortune. 
they were trying to, clearly something is yours, but they were trying to challenge it, challenge that so that you wouldn't receive it. It didn't work. Okay. So they had their chance to voice their opinion in court, blah, 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 blah. It didn't work. Now they're coming directly towards you to hand it over. And I know you're not going to let that happen. You're not. Um, what's going to happen here? They're trying to trick you. They're trying to seven of cups. They're trying to cause you confusion, but you will not be confused. You will not be confused because the Seven of Cups is in the upright. You see things clearly. If it's in the reverse, that's confusion, illusions. That's you not being able to make up your mind. In the upright, you're going to see this as clear as day. And you're going to know that she is connected to someone who's connected to you. Three of Cups. It's like you have those laser eyes. You can see right through the BS. Okay. The Chariot. Nine of Pentacles. This person is making their way to you. And they're hoping that you don't know. They're hoping that you're blinded, that you don't know, that you will confide in them, that you will look, exchange cups, get all up close and personal with them. devil works hard but god works harder now oh he sure does <laughs> he sure does judgment <laughs> he sees everything he sees everything and for those who are close to god he reveals secrets to them hidden agendas to them let's clarify the emperor that's crazy how the judgment came out right when i said that this emperor here, what do you need to know about this emperor? I wonder if this is, I, I'm telling you, I feel like it's connected to a reading that we did recently where we had a couple, a man or a man and woman who were sending people to you to backstab you and sabotage you. They had sent in, that reading was wild. That reading was insane. Lots of secrets got exposed, lots of plots and schemes. Um, this must be, this is badly, yeah, it's great fortune. Whatever this is that is yours, it's great fortune. Um, but in that reading, there was a man and woman, it was a mature woman and mature man, and they were sending, they had sent a lover to someone, a false lover, hoping that that person would like be romantically interested in the false person. I mean, this is, <laughs> clarify the emperor, okay. Clearly, it's best for you to be very discerning when it comes to people coming in your life around this time. Not be paranoid because you may have good people coming in. But um, let's just look at this emperor here. What should you know about this emperor? What should you know about this emperor? The Knight of Wands in the reverse. What should you know about this emperor? Let 
Knight of Wands in the reverse. They have to stop the nonsense. They were taking action against you, multiple actions against you. That's what they were doing in the past and it was causing delays. They were holding up the process, the session, whatever was going on here, okay? Um, but now they're in the reverse. They are at a like a like a halt. They can't say and they can't do anything anymore. There's no more actions that they can that they can do against you. They failed. Look, five of wands. The conflict, the chaos, the competition. I mean, this person was trying to raise hell over you getting something. They can't do it anymore. Their time is up. Okay, their time is up. And they were doing all of this at a distance, Page of Swords. Tell us about this emperor. About this emperor here king of pentacles king of cups so the king of pentacles wait <laughs> i don't think you need to know that hold on what what King of Pentacles, King of Ten of Swords. Hmm, Ten of Swords. The High Priestess. This person. There's so much hatred from this person. It's, it's, it's insane. It hit me hard, this kind of hatred. They are a king of pentacles, okay? But the two, the two of you may be connected to a king of cups, okay? Someone who is king of cups, uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Both of you are connected to a water sign, masculine energy. But they themselves are a king of pentacles. There's so much jealousy. There's so much jealousy. I mean, it's... Um, It's just, they don't want this partnership to happen. So remember when the lovers came out and I said, you and someone are very close. There's a close bond between you and someone. And that's why you're that's why you're receiving why, what you're receiving. They wish that they could have your place. There's some there's like there's animosity here. They have animosity towards you, but then they also have resentment. They also have resentment um, towards this King of Cups. 
because in their in their mind they feel like this king of cups chose you and not them it's like they think that this king of cups found you better than them In all honesty, this King of Cups could have just found you a better suitor. They, they could have found you to be a better person um, for whatever this situation is. Like, you're the best suitor, okay, to be receiving this. Um, they're hurt. They're hurt. Um, it's animosity towards you. It's animosity towards you, but then it's resentment towards this King of Cups who the two of you are connected to. It's like, why you and not me? And then there's also admiration. This King of Cups deeply admires you. That's why you were chosen. And this King of Pentacles wishes, they wish that they were to be admired that way by this King of Cups. I strongly feel this King of Cups is the relative here that the two of you are connected to. That's what I was like, the two of you could be siblings or something. And sibling ri rivalry, um, it's never nice. Someone ends up, I feel like, all parties end up getting hurt because nobody wants to get hurt, but then nobody wants to see their sibling hurt either. You know what, what scorns this person so much because they're hurt. Oh, my heart is so heavy. I need to tap out of this energy a little bit. Um, I heard something about accolades. Hold on. I heard I heard accolade. So what this King of Pentacles is saying, the only time they would get recognition and admiration. from this King of Cups is when they would get special rewards, like is when they would get success. Like that's the only time that they would get any sort of attention from this King of Cups. They feel like they never really got the recognition that they deserved and you got it all. It's a personal issue. It's a personal issue between these two masculine ener energies, but now you have to, it's like you're the punching bag. You're the scapegoat for the unresolved tension between these two people. This King of Pentacles is hurt, the devil. That's why they're acting this way. They're being 
they're being influenced by jealousy <laughs> it's jealousy but that it's also hurt and pain you're in the position that they wish that they were in why do you get all the admiration why ten of swords high priestess that's why they're stabbing you in the back so much really their problem is not with you it's a problem that they have with this king of cups ten of swords the backstabbing to a high priestess you could have some strong Scorpio somewhere in your birth chart. Or maybe you're just very spiritual and intuitive. Okay. But let's look more into this message here. Six of Swords. They have to let this go. This person, they have to let it go. Six of Swords, smooth sailing, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters, the world card. The world card is in the reverse. Then you have the four of pentacles. Ace of swords. I mean, ace of cups. It's going to take time for this person to fully heal. The Four of Pentacles is, um, it could be someone who's guarded, okay? It could also represent um, someone having an attachment, okay, to a person, place, or thing. And they're not wanting to let it go. Okay. I feel like when I see the world card in the reverse like this, because typically it's in the upright. And when it's in the upright, that means something has come to an ending or something has come to a completion. Something here has been fulfilled. Okay. Uh, but it's when it's in the reverse, it's not so positive. It's something that's unsuccessful or a lack of success, okay? There's some disappointments here because he has to, this emperor, this king of pentacles, he has to move forward. There's no more, there's no more that he can do. I feel like he has, he's, 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 he, he's put out all his anger and his frustration and the resentment and the hatred. He's, it's like he's cried and the tantrums and, you know, he's put out all of his frustration. It's over now. Let it go. Okay. Let it go. Move things forward. Heal. Forgive. And choose love. The Ace of Cups is here. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning. One that's going to be very joyful. Lots of fulfillment, lots of happiness here. He doesn't have to hold on to this. 
at least not like this. He's going to remain guarded for a little while, but things get to move forward for you. Yeah, the lovers. This is something that's that's meant to happen, the lovers. Eight of Wands. Tell us about this lovers here. yeah sudden wealth you're gonna hear about this eight of wands is communication okay you're definitely going to hear about this clarify the eight of wands courtship concern this is eight of wands here Yep. Excuse me, didn't I say it? You're going to hear about it. The gift is assistance. It's support. It's aid. It's exactly what you need. This is the gift that's going to bring you great fortune. This is the gift that someone has for you that this King of Pentacles emperor wanted to take from you and, and have it for himself. Okay, I feel like you've you have been concerned about this, but everything's going to come together. Everything is going to come together. Marriage, yep, partnership, joint venture, contractual agreement, everything's going to come together. Everything's going to be, yeah, because no one could come, no one could come between the two of you. Imprisonment represents something that's locked off and secured. It doesn't always have to be negative. Yes, it could represent represent being restricted, confined, you know, or being in literal prison, right? Or in asylum. But in this case, it's saying that this partnership between you and someone very special who had this beautiful, deep admiration for you, so much to the point where they chose you and they gave you a gift that there's an emperor here who really wants, but it's for you. No one can come in between the two of you. That is the symbolism. That is why this King of Cups, who I feel is a relative, they're related to you in some way, that is why this King of Cups, that's the, 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 the symbolism behind this. No one can come in between the two of you. This connection is locked. It's locked and is secured. Understand that. No one can come in between the two of you. So no one can take what they have for you, what this King of Cups has for you. No one can take it. Journey. Tell us about journey. Distant horizons. You most likely have some travel travel plans in the future. So get ready for that, okay? And distant horizons, 
this is a far away place that you're going. It's not like downtown, you know, or, and you know, the, the state that's near your state, this could be, you know, something that's a bit longer or far away than that. Okay. So just get ready for that. Occupation, let's clarify occupation, oops, expectation. Mm, this opportunity, this great fortune may even come with a new job. Yeah, that's what you should expect. There's a job position here for you as well. So get ready. I'm gonna go ahead and end this reading. Thank you guys so very much for uh, tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, message. Okay, to if the King of Pentacles is watching this, I'm wishing you healing. This needs to be healed. I feel like this is a family. This is absolutely a family situation. Okay, and it needs to be healed. No sibling ri rivalry. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this reading here. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the message. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Take care, everyone, and many blessings to you.